Yes, you have been hearing me mention Financially Strong Latina, our annual event. And today I'm going to give you that inside scoop. Yes, you are here. Bienvenida to the Her Dinero Matters podcast, a mixed language podcast hosted by me, Jen Hemphill, to help you become the reign of your money and love your dinero more. If you are needing some inspiration and encouragement at this very moment, you have come to the right place. Gracias por compartir este tiempo conmigo. Now let's jump in to today's dose of money confidence. Hola, bienvenida. This is Jen Hempel. I'm excited about this episode because a few years ago, I had a dream of doing an event. In fact, I had hired an event planner and even paid a deposit for a venue here in Washington, D.C. The event was supposed to happen in September 2020. And yes, you can guess what happened. The pandemic. I didn't want to let the pandemic stop me, so I shifted gears and started exploring a virtual event. Long story short, Financially Strong Latina was born in 2021, and honestly, it exceeded my wildest expectations. If you were there, you probably remember the energy and excitement. If you weren't there, I really hope to see you this year because you cannot miss it. Today, I'm going to share with you why we're doing it again, which you can probably guess why, what we're focusing on this year. I'm also going to give you a little bit about this year's speakers, as well as what to expect when you register, because when you register for the event, you're going to get reminders, you're going to get different information about the event, and I'm going to share with you all what that is. So why are we doing this again? Let me tell you, putting an event, even if it's virtual, it's a lot of work. Last year, I can't even tell you how many hours me and my team put in to put last year's event. So it is intense during the time of planning and executing the event. It's very intense. And I can only imagine how it is to do it in person because (laughs) virtually It's the intensity as it is, I can't imagine in person. So last year, we're doing it again because you showed up last year and showed how much of a need this type of event is. A lot of the feedback that we got was how there hasn't been an event like this, focused on Latinas, by Latinas, talking about dinero, talking about money. And I have said it before. When I've done speaking engagements, and maybe if you have listened to this podcast for a while, you've probably heard me say it. But usually what I say is the how-to of money is the same across the board for anyone. But, and this is the big but, the big difference is in our experiences. And of course, our Latinx, our Latino, Latina culture is a big influence in this. I am a big believer that when you teach money, you need to teach not only the how-tos, but you need to make it relevant to the people you are teaching to, or else how are they going to connect with it? It's like sitting in a class, or do you remember if you went to the university, there was the lecture halls, and you sat there and the teacher literally lecture to you and you just wanted to go to sleep because they were teaching the information. And unless they were a good professor, they made it a point to connect with you. And that's when it was engaging. That's when you connected, right? And that's why I'm such a big believer that you need to make it relevant to the people you're teaching. And it's a big reason why I do this podcast and why I interview who I interview. I want you to be able to connect and say, I can relate to that story. That person gets me. Or you know what? 
I am not alone because sometimes we feel like we're managing money and maybe undergoing through some challenges financially and that we're alone. But the fact is we aren't. And in doing this podcast, it allows me to share with you, introduce you to guests that are like you, right? And from there, you are more apt to really connect, listen, and actually take in the content that we provide. Because someone can tell you, you need to budget. And you're like, yeah, I know this. But when someone else tells you the impact that the budget has had, right, maybe really transforming their finances and why it transformed their finances, not necessarily just why, but how in terms of maybe they were able to pay off more debt or maybe they were able to help take their parents on a vacation or maybe back to their home country. So it's about connecting to something that really, really is meaningful to you. It's not just about the money, but what really creating those changes and implementing different things in your financial life, what they do for you internally, how they make you feel, what they do for you as a family. And I can go on and on. That is why if you attended last year, you loved it because you were able to resonate with the stories being told and the individual speakers themselves because they are like you. Now, what are we focusing on this year? Last year, we really, to kick it off, it was just really the theme was around in general terms, being financially strong, because it's called Financially Strong Latina. But we talked about different topics, and we try to cover a lot in a short period of time. We talked about confidence. We talked about mindset. We talked about wealth. We talked about those type of things. This year, what we're going to do, we're going to be talking about similar things, but we're going to be narrowing our focus to that Gen X Latina. Why are we doing this? And it's not because I'm a Gen X Latina and I'm like being selfish here. No, it's not that. Yes, I am a Gen X Latina. But the real reason why we're doing this is when it comes to personal finance, we tend to hear a lot of buzz geared towards millennials or boomers. Have you noticed that? When it comes to personal finance, it's geared towards millennials or boomers. But what about the Gen X? X demographic. When do you hear anything? Literally Google it. You will find very little. And then I want you to Google Gen X Latinos or Latinx or Gen X Hispanics. Try Googling all that and see what you can find. You're not going to find anything. (laughs) Spoiler alert. And if you do, let me know because somehow it didn't come up on my Google search. If you are a Gen X, you are probably feeling the following things. Heck, you may be feeling some of these if you are a millennial. You may be feeling the weight of not only trying to have enough for your retirement, but for your parents as well, while also planning for your children to head off to college. You also may be putting off your dreams like the vacation, home, travel, or even a business while providing financial support for your family, whether they're immediate or extended family. You may be earning more, but you're also staying in debt longer because we are being pulled in so many different directions and there's that pressure to take care of those immediate needs. Or you may be trying to build generational wealth without guidance from others that can relate to your challenges. Hello, this is why there is financially strong Latina. And you may be the one having to provide the financial guidance while also trying to figure out yourself. And that can be challenging because you're being relied on to provide that financial guidance, yet you're still trying to figure it out. Hello, I've been there. (laughs) So in the event, in Financially Strong Latina 2022, we're going to be having these conversations. And for that, I have invited some very special speakers. But before I do that, I want to introduce to you this year's MC. Her name is Denise Soler Cox. And you will hear more from her, not only at the event, but 
actually, I'm giving you an inside scoop, an upcoming episode. Denise is an award-winning filmmaker of the film being in it about culture, identity, and what it means to belong. And she is a ton of fun, a ton of energy, and you will love having her as the MC. Now, in terms of this year's speakers, in the first session, we're going to be focusing on owning our power as Latinas to drive our financial confidence. The goal of this session is to know and embrace what's possible for our community, for our Latinx, our Latino, Latina community, and to also give ourselves permission to build wealth without any guilt. And for this session, I'm going to be interviewing Claudia Romo Edelman. You may recognize the name because she actually has been a guest on this podcast a few times. We will link those episodes in the show notes. I will be interviewing her with her experience in our community as a social entrepreneur, as an advocate for us, as founding an organization called the Hispanic Star, as being a Gen X Latina. She's just got a lot of experience. She knows a lot of data, statistics, things that can help us better understand our community and really have a baseline of where we're at and where we can go. And I really can't wait to share what she'll share about this particular topic in terms of owning our power as Latinas to drive our financial confidence. And if you don't know about her already, I'm going to tell you, she's truly phenomenal. I'm taking a quick second to interrupt your listening to remind you. This show relies on your support to continue to grow. If you get a ton of value, it would mean everything if you can hit the follow button on wherever you listen to, share with a friend, and give us a quick and honest review. Gracias y te mando muchos abrazos. Now in session two, session two is all about focusing on what matters most for our household finances. The goal of this session is to walk away with simple, tangible financial tips for you to implement right away in your financial life. And for that, I have three guests that work day in and day out in the personal finance field. First off, we have Jessica Nelson, who is also an accredited financial counselor like me. And her focus is on minority communities and helping them improve their net worth through coaching, insurance coverage, legacy planning, and so much more. And she is fantastic. You're going to learn a ton from her. We also have Debbie O'Hara. She teaches her community via her YouTube channel that's called How Debbie Saves. And she prides herself in helping her clients do what they need to reach their goals while also enjoying life, which I really, really resonate with because that's what I'm about. And you're going to enjoy how real she is. She is real. There's no fluff. When you hear her, you're automatically going to feel like I can completely trust Debbie. I can completely follow her guidance. Lover, lover. And then we also have Mayra Rocha, who besides being a personal finance expert, she is also an Emmy award winning journalist. And her focus of her work is breaking the stigma of money, which she does through a variety of ways, including her show on Univision called Café Dato. And she does a ton of other stuff, but that's just a little teaser of what she does. And I wanted to bring her on because she's going to bring a different perspective, especially as a journalist, especially being out in the field with being able to talk with others in our community. I'm excited about the perspective that she's going to bring to the table. So that is session two. Then. Session three is about shifting our mindset to become financially stronger. This is Financially Strong Latina, and I want you to walk away feeling and knowing what you can do to be financially stronger. So the goal of this session is to inspire Latinas from all walks of life to think bigger, know that they can achieve their dreams, 
all while becoming financially stronger. For this session, I'm really excited about this session. I'm excited about all sessions, but for this session, I am really ecstatic about this duo because I feel like this is the perfect duo to have this conversation with. So we have two guests, two speakers for this panel discussion. We have Lorraine Laddish, who also was a previous guest on our podcast. So we will be sure to link up the episode in the show notes. Now, Lorraine's work is all around empowering mujeres como nosotras to really be the best versions of themselves, which if you follow her work, especially on Instagram, she really walks her talk and really provides some really insightful and inspiring information. We also have Sandra Campo Nogara. Now, Sandra, I've been fortunate to connect with in the past year or so. And the reason I've been able to connect with her is because she does multiple things. She's a business owner in the travel tourist industry, but she also has a platform for personal finance called Hola Fortuna. And with Sandra's story, you'll learn that she has had a challenging life. She has had challenging life experiences, losing her spouse, really taking care of her parents in her home country from here. And this experience, among others, has led her to learn more about finances. And as a result of that, and what she has learned, what she has implemented, what has really worked, she decided that she wanted to start teaching others because of that positive impact, taking control, taking charge, and implementing some things has had on her life. So I am so pumped about these sessions, about this year's Financially Strong Latina. If you want to learn more about the speakers, check out the show notes in the resources sections. So what can you expect when you register? When you go to the registration page, financiallystronglatina.com, you will see it's embedded to the Eventbrite page. Last year, we had some tech issues because of how many people registered, but you should be able to register really directly from financiallystronglatina.com. Once you do that, you'll get a confirmation page from your Eventbrite like you always do saying you are in, put it on your calendar. Now, what we're also doing is we are doing four things. I want to make sure that you are aware of this. We are going to be providing some giveaways. Why? We want you to help us share and get rewarded for it with this giveaway. I am still putting together what this giveaway is going to look like, but make sure you are registered so you can get those emails with the details. We are doing this because even though last year we exceeded our wildest expectations, this year we have the goal to reach more people, to help more people, to really inspire more Latinas to become financially strong, to know that what is possible for them, to know that if they're dealing with some challenges currently that things can get better financially, that they don't have to be stuck forever. So we need your help to do this because we can't do it alone. So we've decided to do some giveaways. And once you register, you will receive those details. Those emails will be coming out so you know exactly what you can do to participate in the giveaway because we would love your help in sharing because once you register just even sharing the financially strong latina with a friend with coworkers with la familia would be really really helpful then the other thing we're repeating from last year because that really went well is our pop up group so the pop up group what is it is essentially a facebook group that pops up for the time of the event, and then it disappears after the event is over. This was so much fun last year. That's why we decided to do it again. The purpose of this pop-up group, it gives you a chance to connect and continue the conversation from each session. So you're able to network, you're able to ask questions, then maybe you had some aha moments, maybe you implemented something from a session and you're excited about, that is what the pop-up group 
is for. So make sure once you're registered, you will get the details of how to join. The other thing that we are also repeating from last year is the digital toolkit. Last year, we put this toolkit together with main takeaways of each of the sessions, resources for you and your dinero, and we plan on doing it again. If you were at last year's event, make sure I would love to hear your feedback on last year's digital toolkit so we can make it even better this year. And we also are going to give everyone who registers. The key is you need to register, meaning you have to go register, put your name, email information. So you're getting emails from me and you will get access to the recordings because listen, I know you are busy. We are busy. And sometimes you may have to miss a session. Even though this is being live streamed, we are recording it again. If you are registered, meaning you go to the registration, fill out the details, and are getting the emails from us, you will get access to the recordings at the end of the event. So if you miss a session or two, no worries. You get access to those recordings for you to watch. And once you get the access, that's it. You don't have to watch them in 48 hours or within five days or whatever. No. You just get access to it and you watch it on your own time. Wow, we covered a lot, right? I hope that you have gotten excited or even more excited about attending Financially Strong Latina 2022. If you haven't registered for it, make sure you do it now. Please press pause on this episode. Go to financiallystronglatina.com. Grab your spot, which is free thanks to the sponsorship of AARP. Next week, we will be meeting Yaneli Espinal and learning more about not only her, but her impactful work in the financial literacy field to get financial education in large schools. So that's a great episode. Bueno, pues, that is everything. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to listen to the show. You can check out the show notes at jenhempel.com forward slash 303. That is jenhempel.com forward slash 303. Remember, being the reina of your money starts now simply by claiming it. I believe in you, and so should you. Nos hablaremos el próximo jueves. Chao.